Yo, can we talk about this nigga EXO project? Oh, deluxe. Shit. Deluxe. It was just like yeah. a play on words because it's like we had the deluxe project for Memorial Drive. I just didn't want to like extend that shit. And I wanted to try something new. You know what I'm saying? So um, ultimately, I was like, all right, let's just get this small concept going. I had some graphic designers I was working with beforehand. But um, we had to like switch some things up last minute. And so I was just like, all right, this is the new design that we're rocking with. That album covers. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so shout out to um David, because yeah, he really- Yeah, cool bar. That yeah, it's always a blessing he working nice, with him no as well. Bullshit. Yeah. yeah. I he fuck with it. He takes the creative process like very serious and it's always like a, a great vibe. And um, yeah. I definitely got to work with him on some shit. He For sure. Close. Please. Yeah. yeah. Sabo, so, show me some shit that he's yeah, working on. Yeah, I saw that cover art. Yeah, that shit was fire. But I liked it. I liked the project. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. I know you heard some tracks beforehand, you know what I'm saying, that I showed you and we worked on, but... um, I feel like I, yeah. I have mixed feelings because I was listening to it thinking, like, this is my op. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was analyzing, like, what could he potentially use against me? Feel me? That's fair. I thought about that, but too. I got to spin we, the block and We um, reviewed your album the shit. that time. You, your first album you dropped? Your oh, first yeah, project. Fact. When was that? Yeah. Life. Yeah. On, 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 on the Rhyme Reason podcast. So reviewed that shit, He was there that? Yeah, yeah I reviewed it. Back. Yeah. He getting nominated for Boston Music Award oh, for yeah, sure. Yeah, right? Y'all kept that going. Y'all might have been on that. No bullshit. He getting nominated for sure, though. Got a reason. Shout out to y'all with that, man. All right, so you work with some producers on this, right? You got Gib DJ. Got Gib DJ. Mr. KO became himself. Tomo yes, sir. Tell He's me. on the cover himself. <laughs> Facts. Nigga was in the spaceship yeah, with him. That's yeah, wild. Johnny yeah, Wave. Yeah, on the stool. You feel me? And you had keys, right? So those sir. four. So what was it like working with so many different producers and kind of like bringing this sound and this vision to life with those guys? Yeah, for the most part, I think um, everybody knows each other. And I and I worked with those people in the past as well. So, um, you know, they're familiar with those people's productions, those different producers' productions. And so, um, yeah, I think it was a dope experience. I love just, like, the experience that comes with, you know what I'm saying, just, like, building with them one-on-one -on -one in the studio because that's normally what takes place, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so um, it's just always, like, a good process. Uh, I've been trying something new with the sound and the house music, and I feel like that's something that um, I want to see what type of doors I can open up with. You know, a lot of people told me they're fucking with the house music or just how I was able to compliment it. You know what I'm saying? With, with the with just everything, you know, sound. It's just vision. good, like, you know, yeah. before anybody could box you in and put you in a box, it yeah. just like hit them with some <laughs> Explore, shit. Different. Yeah, exploring yourself, the creativity is important. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Spacing on that track is amazing too. No, yeah. And you were you were speaking on like the re it's called Deluxe because originally the plan was to make it a deluxe and memorial drive. And yes, interestingly yep. enough, that was the conversation we when you was on the pod, it was leading up to that yeah, moment. It was leading up to that point. You know, yeah. like why do you think you had to make those two projects separate and what was the difference in just the headspace you were in when creating both of those projects? Ultimately for myself, I just, I went through like a rebirth, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people around me, it, a lot of people that I used to be around, it changed, you know what I'm saying? Even family, you know what I'm saying? It was like, a, I just wasn't around everybody as much as I used to be. And I feel like with Memorial Drive, my mission with that was just like community, you know what I'm saying? And gathering people, different artists in the city, and we all collaborate on this project which was my first project, you know what I'm saying, putting out into the, like the Boston music scene. And so for the deluxe project, I kind of gained more independence with the creative process, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like I was more isolated throughout that process of writing the deluxe and, and into this new project, the Blank EP that I'm working on. And so I feel like it's getting very intimate and I'm really just trying to discover this new side of myself as far as sound and just the creative vision, you know what I'm saying, the focuses, you feel me? Wait, did you say Blank EP? Because you don't know what it's going to be called? Yeah, nah, it's, it's literally it's, it's, called, called, it's called, it's called the Blank EP. Mm. You know what I'm saying? What's yeah. Here? yeah, and it's just going to it's gonna touch a lot of different experiences, personal experiences I've been through. What's the and, sound? And just, the sound's real. That's diverse. Yeah, it's diverse. I've heard some of the beats yeah. on there. That shit's... Yeah, Sh shout out to Nate, uh, Nate Conley. So he's a producer. He's a composer from the UK. And so I got him to collaborate oh, on this shit. project. Okay. He's dope. He worked on many different. Why'd you emphasize it like that? Composer. You're about to say producer. You said composer. Because he worked on movies and stuff. So oh. with this project. So you got like scores in this. Yeah. So okay. like so like with him How and his experiences. How did you make that happen, dude? It's a long story. <laughs> it's top here. ten, bro. It's, it's a here, long bro. story, we but here, I was bro. I was really Bad like accent. doing my research one time, Smart and I came doors. across his work. You know, what I'm saying in the credits of like a project, and I was like, yo. Like, it's just dope, and I want to see how I could get involved with him. And so we talked. We've been building for, like, three, two years now. So, so what? Yeah. So he's kind of, like, he's established yeah, in his established, own space? Yeah, established. So for you reaching out to him, how did he kind of receive that? Was he open to the idea, or did 
you kind of have to do some finessing, like He's, convincing. Yeah, so he saw my profile, you know what I'm saying? So like he saw the different people I was collaborating with. He saw the support that I was getting from the city. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that was important because it's like, okay, you know, he's in the UK. It's like, how can he make an impact in Boston? How can Didn't I make an impact? you think he was impact? a different nigga? I did think he was a different nigga. That's we ain't going to talk about really that, though, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> We ain't going to talk about that, though. But I did think he was a different person um, at first. But um, I still love, like, the creative process that, like, he displayed on his profile. And I was just in, amused by that. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, I want to work with this dude. This is also not your first time working with, with somebody from out there, too. Yeah, so yeah, I think yeah. Dope. I think you go out there soon. Yeah, facts. I would we'll love to. to I got family out in London. That's crazy. This nigga is a bloke. Yeah. No bullshit. What? A bloke. Did you just diss him? <laughs> no. I don't know what that means. What is it? It's a, it's a it's person. A yeah, it's oh. one, of the, one of the niggas. Bloke. Yeah, yeah bloke. Like yeah, a lad. With my blokes. You know the blokes. lads? I've heard the lads. I okay. never heard bloke. Blokes in the stew. Uh, <laughs> you can't up on the UK slang. I don't, nigga. That's not even slang. I feel like that's... Is that slang? I mean, I guess it is. Language. Gotta get you out there, man. Nigga speak English, man. If I was like, hermano, you know that? That's me, father. That's me. 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 That's